around us is a chemical. Now, what did Miss Jackson say? Something about chemicals and matter? I think. OK, then, class, please pay attention. Anything made of matter is a chemical. That's it. Anything made up of matter is a chemical. Now all I have to do is remember what matter is. So let's start with the fridge and see what chemicals we've got in here. Milk, apple juice, water and veggies. They're all made up of chemicals. And all these chemicals are made up of different types of molecules. I remember this bit about molecules. Molecules are made up of atoms. And atoms are made up of even smaller particles. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if the molecules in one chemical interacted with the molecules in another chemical. In chemistry, a reaction happens when two or more molecules interact and a change occurs. This is called a chemical reaction. We start with two or more chemicals and a new product is created. Sometimes we can see or feel the reaction because chemical reactions often produce heat or gas. So, let's have a go at creating a chemical reaction. Here I've got some vinegar and some baking soda. Warning! This experiment is being filmed under adult supervision, as all experiments should be. I guess you could say they're ingredients to my recipe. Of course, in science we don't have ingredients. Instead, we call them our materials. The two other materials we need for this experiment are a bottle and a cork. Instead of recipe, we say method or procedure. In science, we do experiments to test out our ideas. But first, we have to ask a question. So we have a focus for our experiment. Like here, we're trying to see what happens when we put vinegar and baking soda together inside a bottle. What do you think will happen? Our ideas about what might happen are called a hypothesis. Or sometimes it's called a prediction. Do you think it'll turn green? Do you think it'll smell like eggs? Do you think it'll melt the plastic? Do you think it'll explode? Then all we have to do is test it with an experiment. Once we've done our test and recorded our method, we can actually begin to observe what's really happening and write down our observations just like real scientists do. Then we have to draw our conclusions. This means explaining what happened and why. It's important to keep all this information so we can go back and do our experiments again. In science, we can only come to our conclusion once we've tested everything making sure we've taken everything into account. So, I think we're ready to go. I'll add the baking soda. Then I'll add the vinegar. Now I'll put the cork on. Let's see that again. We add the two chemicals and a reaction takes place. There's the bubbles of gas, the gas is building up, and... Did you know that there are chemical reactions happening inside your body? The food you eat is broken down in your gut, and one of the products of the reaction is... That's right, gas! <laughs> 